In this video, I want to show you how you can schedule a flow. The flow that runs by itself based on the schedule that you provide. And it recurs without your interference. It's easy, but there are a few tips that is worth attention. Let's see how it works. So in this video, I create a flow that starts on a schedule. And then I make this schedule log a record inside SharePoint. So flow and SharePoint, let's put them together. Inside SharePoint, I create a list called Schedule Log. This is just a plain custom list with nothing added to it. So it just has a field called Title. On the flow side, I haven't created anything, so we start from scratch. So I click on Create. As you can see, one of the options to start a flow is Scheduled Flow. If I click on it, it directly takes me to a flow name and I call it test schedule. And you can set the start date and start time. And this start date and start time is your time zone that you set for your flow environment. In the default setting, it repeats every one minute and it continues forever. So in no time, you will be out of your 2000 flow runs that you get from Microsoft per month. Do not just click on create with the default setting. So I personally don't like it that much. I click on skip. So I start from scratch. I type schedule and click, click. And this flow has a recurrence that runs every five minutes. As you can see, by default, it doesn't have start date or start time. So as soon as I click on save, it starts running. Let me give it a name. I call it flow schedule. And the new step that I want to add is going to be SharePoint. And I pick SharePoint. And I'm looking for create item. So create item, select it. I need to pick up the URL of my site. The site that I had is called Flow Course. So if I click on the flow, you will find it here. If you don't find it, no problem. Just click on Enter Custom Value and get the URL from the other site and paste it here. Everybody will be happy. Now I tab away and I go to the next list. I can pick up Schedule Log. So inside SharePoint, this is my schedule log. And finally, the title that I want to add is from flow hyphen. And I want to add a time here. The time that I want to add, I add it from expression. So while my cursor is here, I click on expression and I search for UTC time. So UTC now returns the UTC time that I need in the string format, and I click on OK. I live in Toronto, so my local time zone is minus 5, or Eastern time. When I use UTC, it is not Eastern time. So the time that I see here is slightly different from the local time that I have in Toronto. But there is a reason that I just added here. I click on Save, and as soon as I click on Save, this flow starts running. Let me click on here. Maybe I refresh this page, and you will see the record is added. Next record comes five minutes later. 2019, 12, 23rd, T. And right after that, I have 19, 6, 7. So it's 7.06 p.m. Let me see the local time. This is my Toronto local time, 2.06. And this is the flow execution at 7.06. So minus 5 time zone difference is explained here. But who cares about the UTC? At the moment, the reason that I put it here is the format. Let me just click on it. And year, hyphen, month, hyphen, day, capital T. Time means 
hours, minutes, and seconds is a time format that Flow works with it. Let's see why we need this. Let me go back to Flow and I go to a little bit more advanced options. I click on Recurrence and I click on Show Advanced Options. Now, here I can specify the time zone. <clears throat> I can have my time zone is UTC minus 5. Okay? Eastern time. And this is my time zone. And if I want to set a start time, I have to follow the same pattern. So let it start at 2019, 12, 23rd, which is today. T, 19, no. Now we are in the Toronto zone. It is 14 p.m., 06. I make it 10. And the rest, I leave it as zero, followed by Z. I click on save. And now if I go back here, you see immediately there is nothing. I just need to wait a little while until my local time becomes 2.10, probably another minute, for that flow to kick in. So let's wait and see. Now it is 2.10, and let's go back to our SharePoint, and you see the execution happened, and I have the time at a sharp 7.10 p.m., which is the 2.10 in my local time. Now we can play with the frequency a little bit more. So instead of using the frequency minute, I can set it to weekly. And when it comes to weekly, I can put the weekdays that I want it to run. If I click on it, I can say only run it on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And at these hours, so I can say run it at, for example, 2 and 6. Of course, you can just type it in. And at these minutes, so you can say run it at 10, for example. So it runs basically at 2.10 and 610 if I set it this way. Fantastic. And here you always get the summary. It runs at 210 and 610 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every five weeks, because my interval is five weeks. I can turn it to one, so it runs every week. And I just can save it and wait for that to run. And of course, for this one, I really don't need a start time or a start date. I let it run as of today, or if you want it to start to run after a month, of course, you can put the start time here. Now, there is a little bit more into it. For uh, recurrence has some advanced options here. So there is something called setting, that there is custom tracking ID, trigger conditions, and concurrency control. I looked and I couldn't find any documentations. I contacted Microsoft. They couldn't give me any documentation but I'm scheduling a demo so that they can show me how it works. After that, I will definitely share it with you guys. That was all about it. Now, here are the interesting points. If you're in late December, and this is the last video that I'm releasing in 2019 on YouTube, I wish you a wonderful new year full of lots of technologies, lots of success, and lots of happiness. And for the new year, I have five free vouchers for my Microsoft Flow course titled Master Flow Expressions in Two Hours. Message me on LinkedIn, and I will send you the voucher for the first five requests that I get on LinkedIn. Thank you for watching.